you are someone separated from everything else and everyone else. Therefore, you need to worry about your own well-being and your family and the world. Because you're obviously not feeling one with everything. So you have this sense of separation. So now you are for the first time examining and challenging this me, this I inside you who is concern because it's never been on a spotlight so as you start challenging it what happens is that this sense of I as a person separated falls back into its source every time and your mind goes into silence you dive into this complete you can call it emptiness but don't be afraid of the word emptiness or even if you experience that that all of a sudden everything is very silent or it's very empty there's nothing you get absolutely quiet and as you start to do this which I will help you because I'm initiating this for you so I'm not going to leave you out here on your own because you also need guidance with this as I did my teachers my masters guided me as you do this what happens is the more you do it the more you begin to hold on a second bring them on camera I'm sorry I don't understand you're writing to me bring him on camera uh, Hilda are you writing to me bring him on camera no okay good okay okay so is there something wrong with the camera can you see me hello yeah we can see you everything oh, okay. is good all right, because you sense that you waved at me on Facebook, so I'm wondering. No, oh, no, no. No, okay, good. So, all right. Um, where was I? What was I saying? <laughs> Can you tell me what I was saying? I forgot. Where was I? And anybody remember? As more we do it. Say that again. As more we do it. Yeah. Yeah. As you begin to do this, the more you start to making this an, a, a practice, a daily practice, the more this sense of individual, this sense of me separated because that's what it is. That's where your problem is. And this is where you're suffering. This is the root. I'm telling you directly. This is the root of your suffering. This is the root of every human being's suffering. Is this false notion that you are separated from everything that you are an individual capable of making your own decisions you are an individual having your own free will separated from existence that's where you suffer that's the root of it and then what you what happens is we're taking all these courses or or these practices on fortifying this sense of separation this me capable of manifesting things i'm going to learn how i can magnify and attract what i want manifesting so i'm going to go take courses for that so what i'm doing is i'm doing the opposite i'm fortifying this false identity that suffers so 
Maybe sometimes I get what I want, but the rest of the time I don't get what I want. So you never get to the root of the problem. You just keep suffering. That's what happens. There's always something. And when you think you got everything right, then something happens to your body. All of a sudden you're diagnosed with a weird tumor somewhere. There's always something. As long as there is an I, as long as there's a person that thinks it's separated from everything else because it's got its own thing going on, it's free, it's got its free will, it's someone, as long as that one exists, it's going to suffer. Something's going to get you. And as long as that person, that sense of separation, that you, you are someone capable of doing your own thing, no matter where you go, the I is going with you. So you can go to Himalaya and go sit in a cave and start meditating, but this sense of I that you're separated, which is in your mind, goes with you wherever you go. So it doesn't matter where you went and what kind of jumping jacks you got into, what kind of practice you do. You're cleansing, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing yoga. It doesn't matter. You have taken your mind with you. You have taken this I thought, which is the root of your, your suffering, with you wherever you go. And there's no freedom there. Try it and see it for yourself. Cut the connection with the I thought on regular basis with different things. And every time you do that, you experience pure silence. And the more you do this, you make a practice of it, the better you get at it. And the longer patches of time you recognize yourself that you're quiet. And as you do this, you naturally start to refuse taking any new information, especially when it comes to spirituality or uh, whatever information, knowledge, because you recognize that these are food for the mind. You don't want to partake in it. Maybe you do for fun. Maybe you're reading something or watching a movie about the future of humanity, but you absolutely no, have no charge about it, zero charge. Because you're not interested in that. What you're interested is that you merge in with the truth of who you are. You want to be one with God and you want to stay in that state. Means that you are not interested in what comes and goes. The more your mind goes to silence, the more you come to this place, the more you begin to get a good taste and a glimpse of what is real, what remains the same and unchanging, versus what is changing all the time. A what is changing is not real, because you start to get a glimpse of what is real. And the more you get established into it, the more the world that you're looking at, perceiving and dealing with, loses its grip. It begins to lose its grip because right now it's got you here and it's kind of choking you to death because you find it very real. 